I can imagine this being pretty cool if you're the type of person who likes to identify different bugs and just kind of look at the different parts of them, study them up close, see their legs, see their different patterns. All right, well, against all odds, I actually wound up catching that lizard. So let's take a look at him. This is a five-line skink, and it has a blue tail. This is a really small one. That's why he was able to fit in there. So let's just go look in some better light and get a look at him real quick before we put him back. Now, he is probably extremely confused about what is going on, but you can kind of see here the close-up of his tail pattern. I'm going to swing him around a little bit. You guys can see his face right there. Just cooperate for just a minute, and we'll let you go. You can see him there breathing. So it gives you kind of a good idea of how close up you can see with something like this. So this is the size of my finger. I did get a lot of dirt with him because I had to scoop him up in my hands. He's been living in my compost pile. I've got a lot of these lizards in there. But it sure is a fun way to be able to look at them for a few minutes without, you know, hurting them or squeezing them and kind of see, you know, just their pattern and everything like that. Their little intricate design, their little, little tiny feet. Oh yeah, so you can see really, really good view of the tail right there, and then also of his foot in the top. So here's one right here. Let's see if we can catch him. Okay, awesome. We got him on the very first try. So let's take him somewhere where we can see a little bit better. Okay, so as he crawls around here, you can kind of see some of the different features that he has. You can definitely see close up of his face. So creepy. Okay, so he started crawling around the sides of it, so we just kind of have to wait for him to go over one of the sides where you can see it magnified. But as you can see, you get a really, really good close-up view of this bug here. This is a squash bug. You can see that since he's sitting on that, you can just completely see every little detail and speckle on his stomach. You can see like the hairs on him, and you can also see his little eyeballs. If you have kids who are interested in like science and biology and things like that, I would definitely check this out because where else can you see a bug like this? There we go. So he's back on his leaf, messing up my squash plants, but putting him back in his natural habitat and he looks no worse for wear. I was excited about this until I realized it is only a shell of a cicada, but still pretty cool. All right, so this is my compost pile that he's been living in. So all I've got to do is just kind of press this button and open it up and he can just kind of calmly go free. There you go, bud. Didn't even lose his tail or anything. And there he goes right back into the dirt. So you can see awesome, awesome way to play with nature. Take a look at everything and you can just kind of clean this out really easily. Goes back together and you can find tons of different creatures in your yard to play with.